Hey guys, it's Alex with Paragon Performance. Today we're going to be installing the Varus Engineering side splitters for the C8 Corvette. These are going to help improve airflow efficiency underneath the car. They are made of a carbon polyweave material, makes them lightweight and durable. Let's get to the install. All right, for this install, you're going to need a drill, a 3 16 drill bit, a 3 8 drill bit, a seven millimeter socket, a quarter inch ratchet, a center punch, a five millimeter Allen, a four millimeter Allen, and a 9 16 wrench. First thing we're gonna do is raise and support your vehicle. All right, so this car has the OEM rocker piece on here. We are gonna remove it so it makes the barge board sit perfectly flush with the underside of the car. There is some double-sided tape along the top here that we're gonna to have to remove once we pull it off. And then you're gonna have several rivets on the underside that we need to drill out. Just using a 3 16 drill bit, carefully drill the head off. You'll be able to pop them right off. Let's get after it. All right, so now we're gonna pull this off of here. Like I said, there is double-sided tape behind here, so you are gonna have to kind of just pry it off of here. And basically get that double-sided tape to let go. Okay, now we've got that off. We need to get all this cleaned off of here. Use your method of choice with either some Goo Gone or one of the eraser wheels. Just get that cleaned up. All right, so we've got two seven millimeter screws here towards the back that we need to remove. We're gonna grab our barge board for this side. They are side specific. But if you notice, they will kind of follow the contours of the under panels here. So we're gonna take the two seven millimeter screws that we removed, we're gonna thread those back into place in these rear two holes. Now we're not gonna fully tighten them, just kind of get them close to being snug. All right, we're gonna line the front of it up just with the edge of the body or the mud flap here. And we're gonna to go to every one of these where these holes are using a center punch, trying to locate center on there. We're gonna place a mark onto the underside of the body. All right, so we're gonna take the two seven millimeter screws back out and remove the barge board for now. So we're gonna go through and find our marks we're gonna to need to drill a 3 8 inch hole in every one of them marked locations. I like to start with a little bit smaller bit and then go back and do it with a bigger bit. Let's get those drilled out. Ferris supplies a small tool to help you install these rivet nuts. These rivet nuts are gonna place inside the hole. You have a nut with a serrated edge on it. That is gonna go against the rivet nut. You're gonna install the supplied Allen through it and thread it into the nut until it stops. Now using a 9 16 wrench and a five millimeter Allen, you're going to hold that nut in place and keep the rib nut seated all the way in the body. And you are gonna just tighten this Allen down. I do not recommend putting power tools to this to do it all by hand. You can use a ratchet on the Allen if you would like. Now that we've gotten this tightened into place here, you're just gonna unscrew the Allen.
All right, and then you're gonna repeat that same process for all the other holes installing the rib nuts. All right, so we've got all these rib nuts installed. I'm gonna set the barge board back up here into place. I'm gonna start by taking the two seven millimeter screws that we took out earlier and installing them again back here at the rear. We're just gonna loosely install all of these screws. And then using these supplied four millimeter headed Allen screws and a washer, we're just gonna go through and line them all up and install them into those rib nuts that we just, just installed. Grab your four millimeter Allen. You're gonna make sure that this sits behind the edge of the mud flap here. You've got some room to kind of push it forward and backwards and we're just gonna tighten them all down. And then tighten down the two seven millimeter screws in the rear. And then repeat the same thing for the other side. There you have it, pretty straightforward install help clean up that airflow underneath the car. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you guys next time.